Y'all criticize me by being a talker. I play football. So let's talk about me covering people. I'm the best nickel in the league. So let's let's focus on, like he said, let's focus on what we can focus on. And I don't think a lot of people have been focused on what I can do. CJ, is it, is it, is it strange to now consider yourself a Wiley veteran now? Is it, is it different for you now that you know? I ain't, got no, I ain't got no respect here. As in like, as in the lead, don't respect me. They don't respect me, bro. I'm the menace. That's what y'all call me, right? So I guess I got to be this. I don't really put like this. I don't put pressure on myself to impress y'all. All these fans, all these. I'm here to do a job. Focus on me doing my job, not me talking and doing other bullshit. Like, that's why I see you asking about Tyron. Perfect. He gonna take all the bullets for me while I play football. And if y'all know what that mean, y'all know what that mean. Like, he the vet. He know what to say. He gonna be speaking for the room. I'm just here for camp. Talk right now. Back to business. Why you feel like you you know that. You make articles about me, gang. Like, come on, bro. Y'all don't y'all ain't never said I was the best nigga in the league yet. I say that more than y'all say that. Like, right. That's why I ain't respected. Good morning football put two outside corners in front of me as a, a slot corner. Last time I checked, Jalen plays outside and so does Marlon. They don't want to put me at number one. I don't care about it. I got a team to take care of. There's 52 other guys in the locker room right now. We'll be number one together. Fuck it. Great drop, Lawrence throws on the money, going to be well short of the marker. It is Marvin Jones, C.J. Gardner-Johnson came up to knock him out. Look at Gardner-Johnson, he's baiting him. Hey, throw it underneath, throw it underneath. I know it's third and eight. I'm going to come up and hit you at six yards. I mean, that's, that's as good as you can do it for the Saints defensively. Quick toss to Chenault, trying to get outside. Excellent job of tackling by C.J. Gardner-Johnson of that Saints defense. Pressure comes up the middle. Slightly behind the intended target. C.J. Gardner-Johnson having himself a fine first half. Yeah, Tavon Austin's running inside slant. And, you know, Tavon Austin against C.J. Gardner-Johnson, that's a mismatch in favor of the Saints. Trevor just took his 25th snap of the night. Able to get it to Laquan Treadwell. Gardner Johnson makes a stop. <laughs> Davis got to the backfield. Swinging Collins around to make sure his teammates would get to him next. Loss of one. Two of their most physical players on defense, Demario Davis. And then CJ Gardner Johnson cleans it up. I mean that that right there. That's total team defense. That's how you do it. Run to the football. Jones to the edge. Bring a one tackle, but not the second. C.J. Gardner Johnson comes from that slot corner and takes a big finishing play. This is Carl Granderson, who really does make flashy plays on the defensive side of the ball. But then it's going to be cleaned up by Chauncey Gardner Johnson, who is always in the middle of something. You know, he is one of those guys for sure. And this kind of game fits him to a tee. Here's Waddle, brought down for a loss. And it's Gardner Johnson on the spot loss of two. It's not just his great play at nickel, but it, it, you feel his intensity, his leadership. He's always chirping. He's one of the smartest nickels in the game. Second and four, Saints rush four. Ryan looking short and an immediate stop of Mike Davis by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Brings up a third down after the one-yard pickup. Two on the play. C.J. Gardner Johnson in the thick of it again. The 36, it's out quick. It's got to go one more time. He didn't get the block from Tyler Johnson on the edge. And that is no game. Miles Gaskin now in the backfield. Tungabaloa steps up after serving and throws and completes. There's Jalen Waddle. You see C.J. Gardner Johnson making the play out in the flat. When you're talking about this secondary, you're talking about one of the best secondaries in the NFL. But C.J. Gardner Johnson, I can tell you this, we'll be calling his name a lot tonight. One of the fastest, most physical, fearless nickel corners in the entire league. Off the edge, oh. look out! C.J. Gardner Johnson gets home unabated. 
Boy, he came in. No one even stopped him. Nah, yeah. this, and it's well done, too. So you see, Christensen is forced to block to the inside. That's because that inside defender took the inside and turned him, and then he couldn't even see it on the outside of him. Gardner Johnson did a, did a nice job making the tackle. Swallowed up, brought down. And it's C.J. Gardner Johnson back for this New Orleans defense. They are suddenly a lot healthier with the return of Marshawn Lattimore, C.J. Gardner Johnson, and Demario Davis is in the middle making it all go. Second down and nine. Gino running and throwing it away. That would complete to Anderson. Been a quiet afternoon for him, and he can't get anywhere near the line to gain. Well, if you watch that, they came with a blitz. Really well done. Saints bring more pressure. Jones gets rid of it fast, and he's got a connection to Myers. Hit out of bounds by C.J. Gardner Johnson. There's a screen for Jones. And then he gets a few. Gardner Johnson with another tackle. Caught by Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus can't get to the 25-yard line. Gardner Johnson, the first there. The this team just flies to the ball, and how quickly they can rally to plays that are out on the perimeter. Dillon has to fight for it, and a flag comes in at the end. He didn't get it. Jones handing off Saquon Barkley. Not much. He looks to throw for the first time, and as Tyler Johnson is set up third and short. Ryan under pressure. Ryan will run and he'll slide down awkwardly after a two yard run. Second and ten. Sicky makes a man miss, tries to make another miss, goes airborne. Mike Davis with the carry, and Davis tripped up at the 36-yard line. Pressure off the edge. Oh, oh Through man. the hands of DJ Moore. C.J. Gardner-Johnson with the stop on Jacoby Myers. Second down coming up. A lot of times when you talk to coaches, they say, hey, who's the nickel? Well, this is the nickel right here. C.J. Gardner-Johnson is one of those guys who just does a tremendous job. Nice clean throw and a 50-50 ball for Myers going up against C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Smith to throw. Sideline, and nobody's got it. But Gardner Johnson was there with Swain, and it's fourth down. That was your 50 50 ball. Well, this is a very, very good nickel corner, CJ Gardner Johnson. Just watch him, watch how he maintains leverage throughout the course of this down. Inside. Now slice underneath him right here at the last minute and see if you can come up with the pick. It's textbook. It's textbook. These guys are as talented as anybody in the NFL in the secondary. They stepped up big right here in a crucial moment. Wilson taking a deep shot for the end zone, and it is incomplete. The coverage by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Play action. 
action. Wilson looking deep. Crowder fell down. Fans want a penalty and there's no flag. C.J. Gardner-Johnson had the coverage. And it's third and three. Brady's pass here is incomplete. Try to get it to Cameron Wait. C.J. Gardner-Johnson back in. Play action, Brady. Tries the middle again, incomplete. Bucks sideline wanted a flag. None called on C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Thrown for O.J. Howard. Talk about all oh, that's a fly. And it looked like Kasiki was grabbed by Gardner Johnson, but there's no flag. And that was a push off, definitely. Yeah. Push off and a grab. Yep. And no flags. Gardner Johnson goes 5'11. Kasiki goes 6'6. Six, six. Three tight ends for Atlanta on second and nine. Off the play action. Ryan. Nobody open. Needs a little help, and he'll throw this one away. Excellent leverage. Right there by Gardner Johnson, number 22. Watch formation to the left. Third down and four. Ryan over the middle. That's broken up. He was looking for the tight end, Hurst. C.J. Gardner Johnson makes the play, and the Falcons send out the field goal unit. C.J. Garner-Johnson read it beautifully. Two hands on it, dropped it last week. That was an interception against Brady. Yeah, I know, he's kicking himself. That was a tremendous read by him. Dangerous ball, and that's gonna seal the deal. And it'll be incomplete. It'll bring him fourth down instead. C.J. Garner-Johnson is looking for the pick. Fourth down. Just the effort, so close right here, driving on the ball. You can see it bounce off the ground, but that's a good sell job. No, no, no I got it. <laughs> I'm number one. From their own 40. Gino throwing on the run. And let's see if that was intercepted. No, it wasn't. C.J. Gardner Johnson. It's a nice job of coverage on the part of C.J. Gardner Johnson on that seven route, that flag route. Great positioning. Wilson's pass deflected and is it intercepted? That's what they're saying on the field. CJ Gardner Johnson coming away with the football. They're going to have to look at that one. It may have bounced. And now they are saying incomplete. Run of the year for the Bucks, 24 yards from Bernard. First down from the 49. Brady steps up and throws another interception. It's another Brady turnover against the Saints. CJ Gardner Johnson all the way back to the 35. The Saints have managed to make him look human. Yeah, two receivers kind of in the general area. I think he's trying to get the ball to Chris Godwin here coming out of the break. He gets grabbed just a little bit, but Tyler Johnson, who doesn't clear through there fast enough, is why you've got the interception. C.J. Gardner-Johnson's able to come off of Tyler Johnson. You see, Tyler Johnson's not able to get through the middle of the field, which allows Johnson then to come off of him and make the interception. Darnold intercepted. Picked off by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. What a series for him. He had the sack and now the pick to seal it. Not a good throw. Gardner-Johnson just did a nice job. But they're just sitting back there. It was behind him as well. Third pick of the season for Gardner Johnson and his most important one. And that Saints defense came through. Third and ten for down territory, of course. Brandy pressure. 
Escapes. And throws on the run. He's intercepted. Gardner Johnson cuts underneath. They turned Brady over twice. Eight interceptions in these regular season matchups the last two years with the Saints. And the New Orleans Saints are knocking on the door of a headline grabbing win in Tampa against the Jacks. Got to take your shot, right? But this was fantastic by Chauncey Gardner Johnson. He did the old Deion Sanders trick. Watch him trailing behind Scotty Miller, but he knows anytime he has to, he can break in front, almost inviting that throw and then picking off Tom Brady. He got one the last time they played in that win in New Orleans as well.